Hello world, this is Dennis, KD9LVR, and I've been spoiled by this 40 meter double bazooka. The reason why is because I can uh, turn on my radio and I don't have to use the radio's internal tuner. I can just, you know, make contacts. So I've been thinking, I'd kind of like to have an antenna for 20 meters where I can just, you know, turn on the radio and just start operating without having to, you know, tune it up with the radio's internal tuner. So what I did over the weekend, uh, let's see here what's going to be the best angle, okay, is I got myself a third HF antenna. I got that up there on top of my 22 foot um, telescoping mass. That is a Radio Waves 20 meter end fed half wave antenna. The uh, feed point is up there, like I said, about almost 22 feet up in the air. And the wire slopes down to the uh, nine foot uh, painter pole out there by Ma's uh, flower garden. And uh, this thing is really nice. I've used it on uh, obviously on 20 meters. I made a contact with a guy out in California, single sideband phone. Um, FT8 is amazing on, on that thing. So it's uh, doing a good job. Now, the thing is with my. Uh, main antenna here, the uh, random wire end fed antenna, I've been kind of uh, at a loss as to what to do with it or how to, you know, set it up. So right now I've got the, the 9 to 1 uh, on, on made by myantennas.com is about, oh, maybe about two feet off the ground and uh, the wire here goes up. I don't know, about almost 19, 20 feet up in the air. And my main concern is, um, is this going to interact, you know, the wire here, is this going to interact with the, uh, the coax for my 20 meter antenna? If I had to guess, probably, I just don't know how exactly. Um, my results have not been conclusive because, um, well, the band conditions have been <laughs> crummy the last couple of days, so I'm not sure, you know, quite sure how well this configuration is uh, working out here, so I don't know. Ideally, I'd like to set this thing up as like a slope or two, but I'm kind of, you know, limited to where I can set my antennas. Because, well, I got these trees here, which from past experience are a pain in the butt trying to get wire through. So that's one obstacle. And then this up here, the um, power line coming into the house, that's another obstacle. Now, I suppose if I wanted to, I could get myself some longer coax and... Um, Maybe put the 9 to 1 on on up there on that mast where I have my Diamond X30A antenna and have the uh, wire sloping down to um, uh, the pole there where we have the clotheslines. Or, well, <laughs> that, well, that's a whole other story. But uh, anyhow, um, that's sort of the, one of the ideas I'm kicking around, but like I said, I, I don't know 100% for sure if this current setup with my uh, random wire end fed, if that's, uh, you know, if this is an issue the way I have it set up, or maybe it might not be, because, well, admittedly, ideally, you know, the setup isn't 100% perfect, because you got pretty much three antennas here, all in the same general area, but, you know, I make contacts and everything, so... Maybe this is just one of those I'm uh, overthinking it, but um, yeah, um, like I was saying, the uh, the uh, 20 meter uh, uh, end fed half wave antenna up there, it is uh, doing quite the job. I'm quite impressed with it. I got from uh, Amrito Outlet on Saturday, but uh, anyhow, uh, let me know what you guys think about the setup. Uh, Maybe if you have some ideas for me what I can do with my end-fed random wire, or like I said, maybe it's just, you know, 
good enough as it is. Um, and that's pretty much it. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, 73 and peace and all that good stuff.